K&K &K family. Hey, y'all, today we are shucking some corn, and I noted and noticed that all these little old worms, which is um, ear, corn earworms. Look at that. Are in my corn. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going we're gonna to save these guys into our cricket bucket and see if a fish will bite them. I have never done this before. I'm thinking they, they will, though. I think it'll do good. Uh, the life cycle of the ear corn corn worm or the corn earworm better yet is really interesting the moth has the she, she lays her egg on top of the as the silk and the corn is forming and then the little worm goes down in there and he'll eat generally just the top half of the corn like that and it, i tell you what they're hard to get rid of you got to catch them in there in the cycle from the really from the top of the from where from the egg down till till the worm makes it into the corn it's a it's a very short a couple days if that and you got to be spraying that whole time um my wife and i we're doing a lot of gardening and a lot of um selling at markets so that's how i know they're hard to get rid of hey we're gonna try this thing see if the fish are bite them we'll let you know all right folks here's what we got look at all the various colors and how they they're different from each other it's crazy ain't it? all right we're gonna see what we can do catch some fish with these things be quick all right, folks, I'm going to try some tomato worms, fishing with some tomato worms. Y'all look at that dude right there. All right, these tomato worms, as you can see, they will defoliate <laughs> a tomato plant in a heartbeat. It doesn't take them long. Now, these are plants that I kind of give up on, but these, to these tomato worms really have went to town. So what I'm doing here, I'm going to uh, pick them all off. It's, it's several on here. These are... Pretty aggressive little rascals. Look at that. I'll put them in a freezer bag. I'm gonna freeze them and I'm gonna take some catfishing. Just something else we're gonna try. We'll see how they do. Two, three. Shoot, one, two, three. Oh, snap. Okay, now. Good thing about going up river, it's going to come back to you, isn't it? Yep. All right. Now I'm going to hang out. We got to tie it off. The back on the most magnificent river in the country. How about this? The head of stuff. Y'all, I'm going back to the basics. If a person nails me down, what I love to do and what how I how I love to fish is tight lining. That's primarily what I'm doing now. I am in Freebird, the sneak boat, so I will cast a little bit. I generally didn't start casting uh till a couple years ago and I really I really like it, but man, this tight line is really what I enjoy doing and in particular the bullhead catfish now unfortunately the bullheads have had some trouble because of the flatheads kind of eating them up they say you know they being i guess scientists and dnr however there's still a few pockets you can catch a few and that's what we're targeting primarily here today all right y'all here we go with the tomato worms this one's pretty cool i froze these worms after i got them off tomato plants so they're a little bit hard, but they'll still hook. Okay, now this is the ear, corn ear worm. Again, I, I got them and I couldn't go fishing right away, so I had to end up freezing them. I'm gonna put a couple of these rascals on there and we're gonna see, see what about them, if anything. I suspect we'll catch something with them. All right, y'all, tomato worm. Just threw it out there. He's bouncing the rod a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see it. See it? See it? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see, let's see what we can come up with it on, on the tomato. Oh, he got off. No, 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 no. He didn't get off. <laughs> oh, y'all about to have one of my moments. What we got here, boys? Tomato worm. Otto, mighty good night. Good night. Red belly. Oh, him. Eating a tomato worm. You can still see it in her mouth. Look at that. Wow. All right, 
Oh, y'all look at the rod. Look at the rod bouncing. Yeah, you dash to me. That is so much fun. Oh my goodness. Let's see what it is. Let's see if we can get him in. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh. So much fun. Oh my goodness, what a nice bullhead. What a nice bullhead. Look at that, y'all. Oh, and got, <laughs> oh man, got off in the boat. That is crazy. Let's see if we can get him real quick. He's, he's going to bite me. It's because they like to bite. Y'all, that is the fish. It started it all for me right there. dog y'all and caught me a large mouth bass look at that look at that now that is some kind of pretty what in this world what in this world y'all oh he got off <laughs> southern man don't need you around good dirt darn that was good fish that gone it fellas uh Fellas, I just lost a fish, and it was good, and I know I showed my hiney about losing fish, but daggone, man, look at this, what this, he done this beetle spin, y'all. That's what the fish did. That was a good fish, good night, and I'm still upset. Man, it breaks your heart. Hey, hey, southern man, don't need him around anyhow. Ain't that right? That's what I'm telling myself. So what we'll try to do is I either try to tie your boat up or beach it on a sandbar or something and you might can see I'm very very shallow water I'm not quite beached like I'd like to be so what I'll do is I'll stick my paddle in there and tie off to it if need be we're gonna be fishing this little stretch of river see if we can get us a kitty cat out of there oh goodness oh, 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 what we got y'all this is on the ear corn worm of all things oh man what in this world? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Come here, Mr. Bullhead. All right, look at that, y'all. Bullhead catfish. Now, I've heard them called squealers, river fish, or river cats, I should say. I've heard, heard them by a lot of names. And um, apparently, they will bite ear corn ear worms and we know they're about shrimp and red worms um, let's see if I can get him off real nice and easy well good night Mr. Fish there he goes now he's gonna bite me they typically bite down if you put put your finger in their mouth but y'all that that's what it is that's what I love to catch oh, 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 oh got a rod going down here let's see what we got Oh yeah, come to Papa, y'all. If something comes over you when you, when you catch a fish, it really is. Wow. Oh yeah, come here. Oh, I can see him out right there. About to break the surface of the water. Oh yeah. Y'all look at that. Look at that. Now this one's interesting little bullhead he's speckled up ain't that pretty hang on i'm gonna get him off real quick and show it show him to y'all all right look at that y'all look at how speckled he is beautiful beautiful creature y'all know God creates, and if you don't believe it, y'all just look at the different species and how everything works. Beautiful fish. Ah, mosquitoes are tearing me up, y'all. Good night. All right, let's see. Please tell me I got some. Oh! Natural insect repellent. Uh, I don't know about his natural business. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. We'll try it, though, because they're starting to tear my tail up. Give me chemicals when it comes to mosquitoes. <laughs> this 
watching the rock. Oh, look at this rod. Look at this rod. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Just sitting here watching these suckers. That's a pretty good fish, too. Pretty good fish. Yeah. What we got, y'all? Another kitty cat. Another kitty cat. That was on the shrimp, actually. Look at that. Little bullhead kitty cat. Man, they are some kind of pretty. They, they put up a pretty good fight, too, y'all. I've learned over the years how to grab these, and sometimes a different species will get me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, that is good. Good eating. Got a little specks on him, too. Uh oh, we got another rod bouncing, y'all. Let me show it on the tomato worm again. That's crazy. That's a good fish, too, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Come on, fish. Yeah, that's a good fish. That's a good fish on the tomato worm. What do we have? Oh, a big old kitty cat. A big old kitty cat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look y'all, look at this thing, yeah. Oh, he's going to bite me. He wants to be a bad boy. Bad kitty cat. And that's on a tomato worm. Golly, they're doing pretty good. Oh, 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 oh. What we got here, y'all? What we got? What we got? Hot dog. Oh, goodness. What? Oh, a red belly. Oh, man. What a beautiful, beautiful creature. Y'all look at that thing. Caught him on a tomato worm. Tight lining in the Edisto River. Hot dog. Oh, y'all look at this. Look at this. Hold up. Oh, look at this, boys. What we getting here? What we getting here? Oh, my good. Y'all look at this. This is a good fish. I'm telling you. Oh, my gosh. What is this? Oh my goodness, what a kitty cat. What a kitty cat. Look at that, folks. Another bullhead. It's going to be supper time tonight. Y'all look at this thing here. That's the top of him. Good eating. Woo, let's do it again. Gotta love the Edisto River. <laughs> I don't want to miss you falling in. <laughs> That's right. One, two, three. One, two, three. That one does over. One, two, three. He painted his motor, too. No. Well, the guy over the other time, yeah. Oh, really? Serious about his camouflage one. I like that seat. Mm-hmm. It's like 80 bucks, I think. Keith, put it in there, or? Yeah. Here, I might as well. Well. Well, actually, if you go ahead and take off. Yeah, that, that me and Josh get his blast boat. <laughs> I got it on camera! I got it on camera! <laughs> that was a, that was an almost screw up. Oh, man. Uh, that would have been bad the whole boat and family we just got back and uh a little a little skinnered he he wanted to see what was going on so i put him in my lap to shoot the my little final thought on this uh, video i uh, had mr brandon and his lovely girlfriend miss madison um with us and y'all they they were some fantastic people and incidentally uh, mr brandon and um my, my my nephew by law my dear friend uh, mr josh they are they've served in the united states air force so man i appreciate their service and i know you do too we had a blast we <laughs> i did find out that i think the i think the tomato worms was probably probably my favorite i was actually quite surprised they done re really good so overall um, I was real happy. We caught several fish and had a kind of a variety of fish. So thank you so much for your time and coming along with us today. And until next time, God bless you.